with Cody Weddle and Dania Beach with the very latest on the conditions there. Hey, Cody. And Calvin, we've been starting to feel some strong gusts of wind over the past hour and throughout the evening. We've really been watching as these waves, violent waves have been crashing onto the shore here in Dania Beach and specifically crashing into this home behind me. This home has really taken a beating uh, throughout the evening and the waves have even been washing some of their their items out to sea. It appears that they're they're not home. High tide was about two hours ago, so it does appear that maybe the water has retreated somewhat. But as you can see, uh, it's still reaching the street here and we've been watching as the water has been flooding uh, the streets here over the past few hours. And as the water has retreated somewhat, as Terrell was saying, we have another issue. This sand uh, is just caked onto the street here. We're talking about several inches of sand. Take a look at this bench. It's just buried in sand. This is the street again. So uh, that will be one of the problems uh, that uh, people here start to assess tomorrow. Six to eight foot, maybe occasional 10 footer. Yeah. yeah. It's really bad out there. They're pretty crazy. Waves crashing into homes by the beach as Hurricane Nicole rolls in. Yeah. These kids trying to help out the homeowner of this house apparently out of town, but there's stuff washing away in the high tide. There was chairs, we got a Bottle. trash can, bottles, a bunch of wooden bunch stuff that's not good for the environment. Be flowing around on these streets out here on these main roads. Beach erosion, a major concern as well. The tide and sand reaching streets by the beach. Some cars getting stuck in the sand. Huge waves, you know, the, this wall over here used to have like a four foot uh, sand sandbar, sand yeah, bank, sand yeah. bank. Um, and about, oh, about 30 minutes ago, that all got washed away. Some, like this couple, coming out to observe the force of nature. Yes. Yesterday was our anniversary, so we decided this was going to be our date. <laughs> <laughs> up to four feet of storm surge possible here overnight. As rainfall adds up, inland flooding also becoming a concern. Several inches of water pooling on main streets in Dania Beach. Authorities putting out signs to warn drivers. The pulse of Mother Nature, you know, it's... It's amazing what, what it could do. Mother Nature putting on a show, but also likely causing significant damage. And so quite the show tonight for Mother Nature, but undoubtedly there will be flooding, uh, damage flooding to cars, flooding to homes, uh, certainly damage to this home here behind me as it continues to take uh, a beating this evening. Uh, but that will be a task for tomorrow. Right now, we're still feeling the effects of this storm. For now, reporting in Dania Beach, I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.